getting another drop. Meat is my favorite food. <laughs> nice. There is. Hello, stop, 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 stop. Hey, hear me out, hear me out. What's up? I just wanted to say thank you for all your great videos, man. Really. I, I learned Sea of Thieves uh, awesome, for all your videos. Awesome, man. <laughs> so, really, thank you. Really much. Thank you. Man, you're all awesome. Right? Sorry, so, sorry for the sync. It's just the rules of the game, but you're awesome. No problem. It's called Sea of Thieves. So, you're a thief, I'm a thief. <laughs> you know? Exactly. Hats so, off to you, man. Have fun with the loot, yeah? I'm, I'm streaming By now, and a thousand people saw how awesome you are. Yeah, thank you. You're, you're awesome. You're awesome. You're breathtaking. <laughs> you're thank breathtaking. you really for your videos, man. I, I, I watch them as good as I can. I learn from them as I was a new player. <laughs> oh, nice. When did you join so, the game? Ah, oh, boy, that was uh, last season, Ships of Fortune, so uh, not long, long oh, ago. Oh, nice. So not, not very long ago. Nice, not very man. long ago, nice no. Nice, man. Yeah. You yeah. know, you know, you're a legend because this spirit and behavior, what you did now, is yeah. what the game needs. More like you will make Sea of Thieves the most popular game ever. I'm so glad that I, I we have so. you in the Sea of Thieves so. community, mate. There is a way to learn, and there is the right way to learn. Watching a YouTube video is like a lecturing class. Presentation is there, and it's up to you to understand. But having a private teacher, at least in the very beginning, will significantly help you improve as they can answer all your early questions. Sea of Thieves is a pirate game, and piracy is the practice of attacking and robbing ships at sea. If you are a new player, or maybe just got the game on Steam, frustration might be one of the first things you encounter. I just spent hours getting these chickens, then I think this is a waste of time. Unlike other games, where you get better after finishing a tutorial, the world of Sea of Thieves is full of curses. You can get worse after finishing a tutorial. You might complete the maiden voyage, but still feel useless when you meet other players. This is not how to get better guide. I have plenty of these on my channel. Especially if you are on Steam, I have lots of my YouTube guides nicely organized there for you. This is a how to learn the right way video. There are ways to progress in the game where you can have a perfect time and make the best in your early start. We will cover taking the right steps in the sea, what to avoid and how to find the right crew members so you can learn and progress the right way to understand how things work. Fuzzy here, bringing you honest guides and gameplays. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Hey man! Wait, 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 wait. Wait. How are you? Can you hear me? Yes. Awesome. Oh, how are you? Nice. Are you are you uh, from Steam? Did you get the game on Steam? Jaffa, thank you so much for the 100 bits, matey. Happy birthday, Pasta Fred. Nice. Nice, you got the game on Steam. You have the game on Microsoft Store. You have the game on Microsoft Store. Are you new to the game? Yes. Nice, man. Uh... We have some stuff for you. We'll give you two gems. We like to welcome new players. All right, but I want to. Oh, can I teach you something fast? When you park your ship, okay. When you finish your maiden voyage and load into the main world, you can go around, check the outposts, watch videos, and learn more about the Sea of Thieves. Still. There is one thing you should know before all that. You cannot be a decision maker and boss of your ship on day one, or even week one. Just like a job, earn your promotion from the experience you gain. Solo sloping is the hardest form of sailing. There is no control center to manage everything. Every single interaction point requires manual operation. So if you are new, this might be overwhelming and you will sink many times. To learn all this, you will need practical experience. Along with guides, the best and number one way to learn this is to start at the bottom and aim high. If you choose to go solo, which is not impossible, but definitely harder, all this will be delayed, and your time in the beginning might not be efficient. The Maiden Voyage, a single player mode of the game that gives you an introduction of how mechanics work and a bit from the lore. Once done, you end up in the Sea of Thieves, finding yourself alone at an outpost. Feel free to follow the prompts and complete the rest of the tutorial. But after that is where you should stop.
Join Sea of Thieves communities on Steam, Xbox or Discords of your favorite content creators to find a higher skilled player to be your captain. Usually captains need someone else on board to help them with their adventures. So this will be a win-win situation for both of you, with so many advantages. You will level up faster due to higher rank voyages voted by your captain, you will learn with the first hand experience and get better quicker, you will earn gold faster, which will give you the ability to unlock outfits and ship skins sooner. By taking orders from your temporary captain, you will learn how to give orders when you gain more knowledge, which leads into assembling your own crew. There are things that no in-game tutorial can teach you, like why sails were angled against the wind, or why you shouldn't keep specific items on your ship. These tips and tricks will give you real practical knowledge of the game. I have met the highest ranks that barely know how to peel a banana, and other one-week-old pirates that appear to have real potential. Within a week of sailing as a first mate to your captain, you will be able to captain your sloop and help someone else who needs it. With that, you will end up assembling your permanent crew that can operate the mighty ship and plunder the seas like your pirate fantasy. However, open crews are not recommended. Even though there are heroes there that hop on open crews to help randoms, generally, you will only find trolls and kids who want to blow up your ship and sign out. During my live streams, I do not attack everything I see, as mentioned in my video, how to expect the enemy. Sometimes, you can tell if the player is new from the way the ship is parked. I help random new people and advise while fighting more skilled players to even out the odds. With this, you should be able to pave your way to become a pirate legend the right way. I also coach and teach the game during my live streams on Twitch. If you found this advice useful, please consider subscribing to help my channel grow. And if you need crews to sail with, link to my Discord is in the description below. A family-friendly community of more than 3000 members ready to help you set sail. Thank you for watching and happy sailing. Angelix, thank you so much, 75 bits. How are you, man? Uh, you see this, right? Uh, are you are you from Steam? Are you new from Steam or no? Awesome man, welcome. I play Sea of Thieves since day one, and I would like to give you some advice. All right, um, this keg. If you put it down here, don't don't don't, don't shoot! Ah, ah, don't shoot, man! Don't shoot! You'll blow up! You'll kill everyone! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. See, most people will come and go like this. And blow it up. Wait, man, wait, wait, hold on. Oh my god, how many brain cells do you have, matey? Put it on the crow's nest. 